Now we're going to introduce the direct product of rings. So let R and S be rings, and we're going to define addition um, and multiplication on the Cartesian product R times S by the following. So if we have R, a coordinate pair R S plus R prime S prime, then we just add component Y. So we add R to R prime and S to S prime. Similarly, we multiply um, in each component. So we multiply R times R prime and S times S prime in the Cartesian product R cross S. And so if we use these uh, definitions of addition and multiplication, we get the following. First is that the direct product R cross S is a ring. We also have that the zero element of this ring is going to be equal to the zero, uh, the coordinate pair where we have the zero element of R and the zero element of S. If we negate an element in R cross S, that's the same as negating R and negating S. And if R and S are both commutative, then so is R times S. So the direct product of commutative rings is itself commutative. Lastly, if R and S have an identity, then the direct product of R and S also has an identity. And that is given by the identity in R times S equal to the identity of R and the identity of S. Very similar to how we define the zero element. So let's look at how to use these operations of addition and multiplication. So in example 15 uh, from section 3.1, we want to write out the addition and multiplication tables for Z mod 2Z times Z mod 2Z. And so I've set up the tables here, um, and we're just going to fill them in. So the first thing we're going to look at is addition. So we add a uh, component Y. So this means that for 0, 0 time plus 0, 0, I just get the following. Now, um, 0, 0 is the identity element, so I can actually fill in the first row and first column of this very quickly. So now let's fill in more of the table. So if I want to look at this second row, I'm going to add 1, 1 to 1, 1. So I'm going to add, that's going to be 2, 2. But we're in Z2, cross Z2. So 2 is going to be equal to 0 in both of those rings. Similarly, 1 plus 1 is 2, but that's equal to 0 here. And then 1 plus 0 is 1. If I look at this third row, Again, I'm going to get 0 when I add 1 plus 1 and then a 1 here. And then I'm going to get another 0, 0. And then I'm going to get a 1, 1. And if I look at this last row, I'll have a 1, 0, a 1, 1, and a 0, 0. So this is how we do multiplication. Now let's look at the second table, um, and this should be a dot because it's a multiplication and let's find some products so we are going to first once again fill out the first row and first column very quickly everything is just going to go to zero now we're going to multiply so uh, 1, 1 times 1, 1 will just give us 1, 1 back. Uh, 1, 1 gives us 1. 1 times 0 gives us 0. In this last entry here, 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. So once again, what we're doing is we're multiplying uh, component-wise. So if I look at this third row and I multiply 1, 0 times 1, 1, I take 1 times 1 and I get 1. Then I take 1 times 0 and get 0. 
and then let's see keep going and now I can fill out this fourth row get zero one zero zero finally zero one so we've written out the addition and multiplication tables for z2 cross z2 you're going to be asked to do this in the homework um, for z2 uh, cross z3 and z mod 3z times z mod 3z. And so those tables will be a little bit bigger, um, but this is just kind of an example of what you're doing. So make sure you just list out all the elements and the respective rings um, with, yeah, list out all the elements and the uh, direct product of those rings and then do the multiplication and addition to get those tables.